So it's Saturday, 25th of May, and I've just released the mission inspiration prompts and everything for this week. I've already filmed my project that's uploading as we speak. So yes, so I'm kind of like done for the day really. Um, I'm just going to nip out to the shops just to grab some chicken. Uh, we've got guests this weekend. Our friends Karen and Steve came over last night um, because they have a, a, a show that they're going to, a retail show at Newark. So rather than travel all the way over from their home in Haworth, Bronte country, um, they've come and stayed here, which is a lot closer. It's only like 40, 45 minutes away for them here. Plus they don't have to fork out for accommodation, which is always a help <laughs> uh, when you're trying to maximize on your profits. So yeah, we've said, you know, come and stay with us for the weekend, which is great. So they arrived um, yesterday afternoon uh, and we just spent kind of like most of the evening just sitting and talking and catching up really. Um, so they're going to be back again probably about four or five o'clock this afternoon. Um, we did takeaways last night. So I said I'd cook tonight. So I'm doing uh, chicken in a white wine, garlic and black peppercorn sauce. But I'm going to do it with tagliatelle pasta. Um, when I went into the freezer this morning, I discovered I've only got two chicken breasts. That's not enough for four people. So I'm just going to nip to the shops to get some fresh chicken breast and also maybe a dessert or two. So I had a phone call from mum this morning and she said, um, we've, we've had a bank statement delivered. So I said, oh yeah. So she said, I've just been kind of like looking through it. And she said, um, why did we spend £85 at B&Q? B&Q is a, a DIY store, home improvements, a bit like Home Depot in the States. So <laughs> I just said, hmm. I said, um, well, I don't know, Mum, you know, have you had any rooms decorated recently? <laughs> she sort of thought for a minute and she went, oh, the living room. So I said, yeah. I said, that's how much it cost for all the paint, for, you know, the walls and the ceiling and to refresh all the, the woodwork and everything. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's fine then. I just didn't know what it was. I couldn't remember what, what we'd spent. And <laughs> so anyway, she was happy after that. I can walk anywhere in the garden. There's no restrictions just at all. I've can walk over there. He's got no shoes on, ladies and gentlemen. I have oh, got yeah. shoes on. Oh, you have got shoes on? Oh, there's a miracle. The shoes have grown. Look at my Zante dishes. So, yes, I know it's massive. It's absolutely huge. So just to put it in context, look, there you go. That's how high up it is. <laughs> over winter, we didn't have to win over winter it. We just left it because it was, it was protected by the seats. It was sheltered. And it's just gone on and on and on. There's another flower there, Well, one there's, there. there's another one there and another one there. That look. one we didn't protect. And it's a lot smaller. A lot smaller. But while I was gardening this afternoon, I've just cut the grass and whatever. As you can see. Yes. The back border is full to bursting. It is. And shall, shall we go visit? Yes, yeah, we'll go visit. I'm just getting the tea. Excuse the teddies. So, the gladiators, I don't know what they're called. Delphiniums. Delphiniums. I've taken one off because it's just got... Yeah, we had a bit over. of a heavy rainfall, didn't we? And it's battered them. There's, a, there's, your, there's your black eye Susan down there. My rude Becky here at the back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they they'll be all right because when the arum lilies have dropped off and died yeah. away, the rudbecki will come forward then. Only the tide is back. Yeah, that's it. The red currant. Yeah. 
Uh, it smells like cat pee. The flowers smell like cat pee. Do. I wouldn't walk. I wouldn't walk backwards if I were you. Under here, <laughs> there are some plants. There's one at the back still I need to get there's out. There's a skimmier at the back. But in there, there was a GM and there was also um, an alchemelia. <laughs> so, a lady's mantle. A lady's mantle. So I've taken those out. And they've been transplanted. Transplanted over here. I mean, the GM is actually, there's three there, I can see. At least three to, mm. to split. Could be split. Yeah. That's the alchemelia, they're beautiful. But look at the red hot pokers. There's three flowers on that one. Two on that one. No, there's another one coming up here, look. So there's three. four on that one. There's two. And there's two on that one. And there's, one at on the moment, that one. one on that one. And one on that one. Three. Oh, three in there. Yeah. And that's not nothing that so yet. far in that one. But this is all taken, these are all taken out of over there as well, because yeah. everything's so, so jolly full. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have apples forming on the tree already. And I have a slug on my hosta. Look. Have you got rid of it? Yeah, as true as I've ripped the leaf. Yeah. So there are yeah. lots and lots and lots of apples on the tree already. Nick, it's all going to be tied back. Yeah. Is it espaliered? It is. We need to espaliate. Tie it all back. Yeah, so it grows up across yeah. and level with the fence. Well, but yeah, everything's looking good in the garden. It's doing all right at the moment. There's, there's quite a bit of colour. There'll be some more colour because I bought some more plants. Sorry? Bought some more plants. <laughs> what have you bought? I've bought some bright, uh, sort of fuchsia-y, reddy, purpley Xanta dishes. All right, some more colour. But I've only bought nine. <laughs> Well, it was buy one, buy two, get one free. So I thought, if I get six, I get nine. Right. But okay. when they come, the bulb is already obviously in the, in the packet, uh -huh. but they're also this high, so they'll be flowering this year. So they're to go in the front. Right, okay. Just want to show them the, um, the clematis. Right, it's <coughs> Look. It's just, it's like a flower cascade all the way down. Beautiful. The Montana stopped flowering now, but there is a honeysuckle in there as well, so that should flower later. But yeah, it's doing. Doing what it does. It's doing. I mean, just look at that. Just look at that border. Yeah. And all this border, apart from these two, came from at the back. Yeah, came from elsewhere. Elsewhere in the garden. In the garden so. Yeah, definitely overplanted. I don't like soil. I don't like to see soil. No. Well, you like established borders, yeah. don't we? And the way all the bracken has broken through all the gravel, which yeah. was here when the house was built. Like I said, it's a very country cottage path, isn't it? And then some sedum over there. This yep. Woods. And then down the side of the house, it's all ferns <laughs> as well. <laughs> it's all good stuff. We Excellent. Just, we just need that big shiny thing in the sky to appear now. In the sun. Yeah. It's a Sunday morning. It's a quarter past ten. Um, I recently launched my little mini shadow box frames or micro assemblage frames, if you like, or mini diorama frames <laughs> um, this last week. Um, and I've had loads and loads of comments and feedback from people, all positive comments and positive feedback, um, asking for different sizes. So I've sat down this morning and I've thought what would be the, the easiest to produce, to create, but not only the easiest, but the most cost effective sizes to do. Um, so I've come up with a list of eight sizes for the shadow box frames, uh, mini dioramas or micro assemblage frames, if you like. Um, so we're going to go with the two and a half by three and a half, which is the ATC sized ones. Um, the ones that I'm selling as the ATC shadow boxes are only 20 mils deep. These are the ones that I'm going to sell individually will be an inch deep. So an inch rather than 25 mils rather than 20 mils. So um, from that, there's also going to be a three inch by four inch, which is 76 mils by 101 mils. There'll be a four inch by four inch, 
which is 101 mils by 101 mils, a 4B6 postcard size, which will be 101 by 152 mils, a 5x5, five five, which is 127 by 127 mils, a 5x7, which will be 127 by 178, a 6x6, which is 152 by 152 mils, and a 7x7, which is 178 by 178. So you may be wondering why there's no 6x8, is because that would have to go over onto a second sheet <laughs> of MDF, which doubles the cost. So I'm not doing the 6x8 because it's not cost effective. So the largest size one that I can do cost effectively is going to be a 7x7, which is the 178 by 178 millimetres. So I've just added those onto the website now under the shadow box, Medite shadow box frames, but it will take me a while to cut all eight variants and get the individual photographs for each size up on the website because obviously it means I've got to cut one of each size, assemble it and photograph it and get it all on. So <clears throat> hopefully by the time you're seeing this, there might be at least some of them on there. <laughs> so yeah, you ask, I deliver. Can't say fairer than that, can I? Never let it be said that dogs are not strange. I mean, look at this one. Both his paws over his face and he's got a big curly lip look. There you go. Fast asleep. What a big baby. It's Tuesday, 28th of May. And we had a national bank holiday yesterday. So post office was closed. So I'm going to just take all the post from back end of last week and over the weekend done all that this morning got it all packaged up addressed up labeled up customs forms all that kind of stuff all done this morning uh, Ian went out uh, to run errands this morning so he got back about half past ten so I had everything done and ready for when he got back so hopefully seeing as I've already been very busy and filmed this morning as well um, if the rain holds off, I might actually be able to get into the garden and do something with those hanging baskets. Fingers crossed. Good afternoon everyone, it's Ian here. Thank you so much for all the best wishes of the last couple of weeks. I feel a lot better. Oh, Bentley's come to say hello. Uh, I feel a lot better. I'm going back to Indigo Blue this week, so um, I'm back to normal. Voice is still a bit hoarse, still a bit awesome wells. Very, very croaky. But apart from that, I'm fine. Oh, look. Look who's here. It's the little one. I think he's decided it might be that time. For a little bit of exercise for my daily second WALK. I'm spelling it out as soon as I say the WALK word, Nipper will come running downstairs and it'll be a uh, pandemonium. So thank you once again and I'll see you all soon. Thank you. Bye.
Haha, <laughs> better expecting the radio. Oh dear me. So it's rained pretty much constantly for the past couple of days. But today it seems to have eased off. It's not forecast until about eight o'clock tonight, which is good because it's haircut day today. And the lady that normally cuts my hair has moved. Um, the shop where she was in, she's had to move out of because the owner wants to retire and convert the shop back into residential space. Um, so she's had to move and find other premises. Luckily, her husband's a builder and they had a garage. So they've converted their garage into a home salon or barber shop, if you like. So she can now cut from home, which, you know, is sensible because it means she's now master of her own destiny and she doesn't have to pay rent which is which is always a bonus so i'm due there at about 20 past 11 this morning it's now 20 past nine um but i'm going to pick mum and dad up because usually when i have my hair cut dad has his done as well because it's easier for us to both get them done together um but he decided a couple of days ago that he wasn't ready for a haircut um, but he still wanted to come over because it's a bit of a break, a bit of a change of scenery, we get to have lunch together, all that kind of stuff. So he's still coming anyway. So that's where I'm off at the moment. I'm going to pick them up. two new devices to share with you. I'm especially pleased with, well, pleased with both of them, but the portable Stargate, I'm unbelievably pleased with it. And I'll just spin the camera around and I'll show you why. Okay, so number one, this is the portable Stargate. It has reference 5301. It's number one of limited edition of six. It has an acrylic front and it has the gateway to another dimension in time and space. It has a little dial and a switch. We turn it on with the switch and the lights come on. But what's clever about it is that you can actually change the colours of the Stargate. I mean, look how that's... Sorry about the strobing, it's the uh, LEDs. But that is rotating like a vortex, which is what the Stargate is, of course. That's a green one. So it has a little remote control, which is really clever. The blue's nice. The blue's very, very, very ethereal. And that goes on your belt, clips on your belt, or you can have it hanging from your belt. You could have it just on the, on the countertop if you wanted. It's not that deep. It's got the motor inside that drives the disc with it, which gives you the effect of the um, Stargate rippling. And the second one is the Spirit Revealer. You'd wear this on your belt or hanging from your belt. And it's got a little phone knob as well just to turn. But you turn it on by that. And you want to know if people are who they say they are. The screen's blank. Oh, yep, yeah, they're definitely okay. Because we have the skull on there. And then the Latin in the corner says this is a human being. Not an alien, it's all in Latin because I uh, translated it. So yeah, they're two of my new machines I'm working on at the moment. I've got a lot more things I'm working with, but I'm just so chuffed. 
and plays with that. The portal to another dimension. Well, it's eventually stopped raining and I planted out some more hostas at the front. It's got a bit windswept, but this one was new in last year and it was only about eight inches across. And it's absolutely ginormous this year. Ginormous. And I've planted my Persicaria bistorta. Got white, fluffy, long, elongated flowers on them. Bought them one of my internet purchases. I think Mike's really, really pleased as well because his, I can't remember what it's called. It's got um, yellow flowers on it. I'm sure he'll tell me. Uh, Black eyes, Thews, no. I can't remember what it's called, but anyway. We rescued this from the garden centre, it was about two inches, three inches high and it was dying. So I it and look at it now! Looks great! It's all filling out. Just want a little bit of colour now. We've got the bones of it in. So, haircut done. Mum and Dad are safely back home again after doing loads of shopping. So now it's back to the mundane aspects of life. And by mundane, I mean laundry. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible and don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website there's a link in the description area below thank you